We were having some difficulty with Dreamboat starting hard, running a little bit rough, and also overheating. So our approach was to start with the carburetor and make sure that it was neutrally adjusted as if we were just starting out with a new one. So what are we doing, Andrew? We are adjusting the float level with this jam nut and screw combination, and then checking to see if we have fuel running out of the side of the carburetor down here. If we shake it a little bit, we see just a drip come out. My understanding is that's correct, but yeah, yeah. I guess we'll see. Is your fuel leaking out? Drip it out. Alright, so that's too much. Alright, so we're so gonna go. Secondary bowl needs to be adjusted as well. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna loosen the screw on top, separately from the nut, turn the nut clockwise, and try about a half a turn. I'm gonna tighten that back. You'll start the engine and, you know, two second run again. Okay. And we open again. Alright, so we've opened it, started it, tightened it. Again. Yeah, if it's dripping, that's still too much, too much dripping. So we go here again. If you haven't been following this project, Dreamboat is a 1977 20 foot Airstream Argosy motorhome. About a half turn again. Okay. Time to start the old Dreamboat. Keep it a little. Ooh, the door. Check the bowl. Pretty good stream out of there. Still way too rich. Still way too rich. Alright, second verse, same as the first. Let's do it again. Still leaking out enough to make a puddle. So that's not right. You just want it to barely weep out of the hole. Sorry about the background noise. We took advantage of mowing and leaf blowing day to make some noise in the campground. You start? Yes, please. That's it. Right. Set it off. Okay. Give it a little gas. A little bit of gas. Okay. Let's check again. We're much closer. It didn't drip until I rocked it. So it may still be a little bit rich, and I'm wondering if you want to do just a little more and check it again, just to be sure. Well, I don't want to catch them on fire, so let's try. I feel like we need to drive him with his battery. Well, we're slight, so one of the things we're doing is we're adjusting this when we know we're on a slight uphill. Okay. Hmm. Yep, I think that's closer to where we want to be. All right, on to the next adjustment. Okay. What I'm doing is moving the idle stop screw out until there's no movement in the linkage. If I turn it in, you can see the linkage move, and at a certain point, it stops moving. This is the idle stop screw, and I'm gonna turn it one full turn. That's a half, and that's a full turn. The next instruction is to turn the idle mixture screws all the way in to just where they stop. One on that side, one on this side. And those are only on the metering block, which I have on this side. There's no metering block on this side of the carburetor, so I have two screws moved in. I'm now gonna turn these out one and a half turns. One, half, this side. One and a half. 